reach for the thought that feels better, and allow the natural well-being that is yours. You can sit and focus out of the vortex, and your life won't change at all. You can sit and focus in the vortex, and your life will change magnificently. Everything that is, is the result of vibration, and if you don't like the result, change the vibration, that's all. Your work is to consume your now with, the thought that feels best, wherever you stand, whether you are looking in the past, present or future. You are the only one who creates your reality, for no one else can think for you. No one else can do it. It is only you, every bit of it you. When something really, really, really matters to you, let it go. Say to the universe, you know what I want. Give it to me in the path of least resistance. Give it to me the easiest way possible. Give it to me in any way I can get it. When you believe something is hard, the universe demonstrates the difficulty. When you believe something is easy, the universe demonstrates the ease. Believe in what you want so much that it has no choice but to materialize. If you're not excited about it, it's not the right path. When you focus on the good, the good gets better. The universe is not punishing you or blessing you. The universe is simply responding to the vibrational attitude that you are emitting. Life is always in motion, so you cannot be stuck. You can't watch out for bad things and allow good things at the same time. It is vibrationally not possible. We are all love looking for a place to happen. Forgive because you deserve it. People will love you, people will hate you, and none of it will have anything to do with you. The appreciation that Source feels for you, never-ending, will wrap you in a warm blanket of worthiness if you will allow it. It's time for you to come into your own. Don't hold back. You are the energy that creates worlds. We want to convince you that you are worthy enough, that the mere thought that you would like something is enough to ensure the receiving of it. When you are loving your children and expecting good things for them, you are tapped into the energy of your source and you're flooding that all over them. You are not here upon this earth to prove yourself worthy of anything to anyone. The greatest thing you can give yourself is freedom from what others think. There is nothing, nothing more wonderful to do for your children than to live. The thing that causes the most disruption in the parent-child relationship is your belief that you have something to control in their behavior. Alignment trumps everything. Stay off the subject that disturbs your alignment, and everything that you are about will come into alignment. It's not about action, it's about vibrational alignment. Find something that makes you happy and fixate on it. That is the answer to all things. It's the answer to getting everything that you want. As you practice your more positive, better feeling story, in time your pleasure will become the dominant vibration within you. And then as you couple your pleasure with your means of earning, the two will blend perfectly and enhance each other. If all you did was just look for things to appreciate, you would live a joyously spectacular life. Being happy is a very personal thing, and it really has nothing to do with anyone else. The standard of success in life isn't the things. It isn't the money or the stuff. It is absolutely the amount of joy you feel. You are joy looking for a way to express. 
It's not just that your purpose is joy, it is that you are a joy, you are love and joy and freedom and clarity expressing, energy frolicking and eager, that's who you are. Any time you feel good, you've found vibrational alignment with who you are. You can get to where you want to be from, wherever you are, but you must stop spending so much time noticing and talking about what you do not like about where you are. You don't even have to talk about prosperity. You just have to stop talking about lack. As long as you care how much something costs, you have a limitation set on how much money you think will come to you. The universe doesn't know whether you have a million dollars or whether you just feel like you have a million dollars. When you are focused on the desire for the money and taking score of the absence of the money, you are vibrationally defeating your own purpose. We want you to spend vibrational currency, not money. Like the air you breathe, abundance in all things is available to you. Your life will simply be as good as you allow it to be. Money isn't the means to a happy life. A happy life is the means to the money. The attraction of money has nothing to do with your ability to earn it. It has only to do with your wanting and believing of your worthiness to receive it. Most people have put anything that earns money in the category of things that I have to do, and that is why the money often comes so hard. You are just a few laughs away from letting a whole lot of good stuff in. You are just a few kisses away from letting a whole lot of good stuff in. You are just a little bit of relief away from letting a whole lot of good stuff in. You are growth-seeking beings, and as you are moving forward, you are at your happiest. A belief is only a thought I keep thinking. There is nothing you cannot be, do, or have. Once you expect something, it will come. The entire universe is conspiring to give you everything that you want. You are powerfully on your path and you are just beginning the best part of your life. A belief is only a thought you continue to think, and when your beliefs match your desires, then your desires must become your reality. Your work is to create the feeling in yourself. Even before you have the marriage, even before you have the money, even before you have the thing, even before you had the property, what you are living is the evidence of what you are thinking and feeling. Every single time. Never mind what is, imagine it the way you want it to be so that your vibration is a match to your desire. You're not manifesting, you're creating the environment that allows the manifestation. If something you want is slow to come to you, it can be for only one reason. You are spending more time focused upon its absence than you are about its presence. It is not your job to make something happen. Universal forces are in place for all of that your work is to simply determine what you want. The moment you say it, the skies will open for you and the non-physical energies begin instantly to orchestrate the manifestation of your desire. The law of attraction says that that which is like unto itself is drawn. In other words, that which you think at any moment, attracts unto itself other thoughts that are like it.